Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 6. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 33 of Book 6. And in this proposition, if we have two circles, ABC and DEF, with centers G and H respectively, and let us draw two angles, theta 1 and delta 1, inside the two respective circles, then this proposition states that the ratio of the arc BC to EF will be equal to the ratio of the angle theta 1 to delta 1, and it will also be equal to the ratio of alpha to gamma. So that is this proposition. Let's look at the proof. So let's create a number of consecutive circumferences, CK, KL, which is equal to so BC equals CK equals KL, and EF equals FM equals MN. And if we draw the lines from the center of the circle to each of these points, so we have um, drawn the lines GK and GL, and we've drawn the lines HM and HN. Now, BC and CK are equal which means that theta 1 and theta 2 are equal. That's from Proposition 27 of Book 3. And of course, CK is equal to KL by design, so theta 2 is equal to theta 3. So therefore, the total angle from BGL, the angle theta, is equal to n times theta 1. Likewise, EF, FM, and MN are all equal, so the angle here is delta 1, delta 1, and delta 1, so the total angle delta is equal to M times delta 1, M of course being any positive integer. Now, if BL was greater than EN, then theta would be greater than delta, Proposition 27 of Book 3. If BL was less than EN, theta would be less than delta. And if BL is equal to EN, theta would be equal to delta. And I've written it here. This is what we're basically saying, that if BL is greater than or equal to or less than EN, then theta would be equivalently greater than or equal to or less than delta. But BL is equal to N times BC. EN is M times EF, and that would imply that the relationship between N theta 1 and M delta 1 would also hold true. And this, by the way, is the definition for equal ratios. If this implies that, then these two ratios are equal. So we have just demonstrated that BC to EF is proportional to theta 1 to delta 1. Now, of course, Alpha is half of theta 1, and gamma is half of delta 1. So we've also shown that BC to EF is equal to the ratio of alpha to gamma. And thus we have demonstrated the proof that in equal circles, the angles have the same ratio to the circumferences. Well, let me restate it in more simple terms. Two equal circles, the arc BC to EF made by the angle theta and delta will be equal to the ratio of theta to delta. And that is this for this proof. And also, since this is the last proof for our proposition in this book, it's the last proposition for this book. Next one will be proposition one of book seven.